listening to News Talk 1340 WJRW. John Gonzalez, The Going Gonzo Show, weekdays at 1 o'clock. Welcome to today's show, show, which is kind of a a show, uh, boy, this is in high regards, a royal show. We're about to witness history here today. It could happen today. The birth of a new royalty. Judy, our producer, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, yeah. Yeah, this is a, a big day. Yes, in all of America's history. I'm excited. You make it such a big deal. Oh, my gosh. I got Diana Sanford going, what? What, America's history? Are you it's kidding not, me? It's, it's not America, you know, dude. You I know, know that. I know that. <laughs> Scott Winter's also with us. We got a full house today. Yeah, we do. Uh, Scott, uh, you you told me you're the only person uh, in this country that's not following what's happening. I, I could care less. I mean, she's Kate's going to have a kid. Yeah. Whatever it is, who cares? You know, the, the, keep in mind, this child is going to be third in line to the throne. Right. We're never even going to see this kid be close to the throne. I and mean, we're going to be so old. By, I mean, we still have Prince Charles, Prince William, and then either Prince or Princess, whatever, you know, this child becomes. I think it'd be cool if she had, like, twins or something. Yeah, then what do you do? Actually, I still think it goes to the firstborn. It does. I think I read that somewhere. Uh, yeah. See, he does follow. He's just he's just playing with us, Diana. He's been following no, us I, all. I, I'm not going to sit there and, you know, on the webcam watch the live feed from, <laughs> from the church. Well, hopefully it's yeah. not a live feed. <laughs> well, no, but it's just it's posted outside the hospital. Yes, no, I'm sure yeah. there's not a, no. a live feed in the Operating no. room or oh, delivery God. room. Now I know someone else that might be watching this. Uh, he's a comedian, and he's going to be performing tomorrow night on America's Got Talent. He's made it to the next round of auditions, and uh, he is from the Detroit area. Joining us on the line is Kevin Downey Jr. How you doing, Kevin? Hey guys, how's it going? Thanks for having me. We are doing fantastic. America's Got America's Got Talent. Howard Stern, Howie Mandel, the whole crew there. Um, but but I know you are are like everyone else, glued to your TV right now, right? No, I really don't care if uh, they have a little demon baby over there in London. <laughs> 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 it doesn't matter. You know what? Big news. My big news of today, Mike Babcock signed up to come back to the wings. That, to me, that should be huge. They, in London, they should be celebrating that. There you go. I agree. <laughs> all, all the newspapers, all the national media out there, right? Absolutely. Hey, you are a Detroiter. Are you originally from uh, Detroit then as well? Actually, yep. The house I grew up in in Detroit is selling for $4,000 right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's not even a joke. That's not even a joke. I wish it was a joke. Uh, wow. I mean, Detroit has been in the news a lot. Are you going to use some of this material uh, when you make it to the stage? You know what? Uh, um, here's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to make fun of Detroit on stage, but if I win this million dollars, maybe I'll help bail them out. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we are in the studio here, uh, Kevin, with a couple of my good friends, Scott Winters. Say hello, Scott. Hello, Kevin. And hey, uh, say hello to the very attractive and available <laughs> Diana Stampler. Are you my pimp now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hello. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? And also, good, he's cause he, And also another available woman, Judy, oh, is our producer. Hi. Hey. Hi, Judy. How's it going? Cool. <laughs> this is like the John Gonzalez dating yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I mean, you're the only one that's attached in the room. That is true. Kevin, how about you? Are you attached? I'm not. See? I, I, I could just sense. <laughs> you're just outnumbered, you John. There's desperation in my voice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, you got to perform on America's Got Talent. And what was that like, just going through the whole audition process? You know what? It's been the biggest kick of my career. It's been nothing but fun. I'm backstage at Radio City right now. I just ate a free sandwich. Mike Babcock, did I mention? Bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a good life. I can't complain. Is, is, New, is New York just as, uh, you know, kind of captured up in this whole uh, baby, royal baby thing? All right. Let me tell you. I grew up in Detroit. I moved to New York. I live here now. And I'll tell you, I love New York. I love New Yorkers, but they're kind of pretentious. Like, they're pretending they care about this. And you know what? The truth is, Prince Charles is the only name I know. I couldn't. I think there's an Andrew. I couldn't name the rest of them. <laughs> William. I think, yeah, I think I think there's a John Boy. I think there's a, a Jim Bob. No, but there are some New Yorkers just like, oh my God, this one's so exciting. No, it's not. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Who? Like, uh, yeah, it does. All I know is I just got a free sandwich backstage at Radio City, and that makes me happy. Well, you uh, are definitely getting ready to take the stage uh, tomorrow night. Uh, and uh, is there any uh, nerves there? I mean, you're a comedian. You guys are supposed to be cool under the pressure, right? Well, let me tell you this. The, there are nerves, sure, man. I mean, it's, it's live TV tomorrow at 9 p.m. 
And uh, by the way, I can't talk loud, but I'm going first, and no one's supposed to know that. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. And let me tell you this. There are some nerves, but there's also some vodka. Hello. <laughs> Hey, Kevin, how many uh, interviews or or audition uh, do you have to go through before you ever finally make it on the stage in front of the judges? Okay, you just, um, uh, you you line up and you go and there they are. And they'll say, you know what, we're going to watch your acts and we're going to, like, not all those people are getting on. Mm Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, you just sign up, and then uh, you, you do it on the website, sign up. Then you go, and there you are, and suddenly you're in front of 2,400 people and uh, four people with buzzers. And you think, this is the scariest thing I've ever done. This is going to be great. And, I, I mean, don't get me wrong, I love scary crap like that. I really? just think it's hysterical. Like, live TV scares the bejesus out of me, and I can't wait to do it at all. You know, this is going to be awesome. I mean, I look for ghosts, because I, I uh, for me, being scared is fun, you know. Doing the things that really creep you out is fun, and this this has always creeped me out. Like there's there's always like, hey, I'm gonna in the back of your mind, like I'm gonna do well, it's gonna have fun. Well, what if I pee myself? <laughs> like there's always that. All right, can uh, I tell you guys something? Can sure, I yeah, go, yeah, go ahead. All right, I got to duck down now. Here's the deal. I've been doing comedy 24 years, and I'm backstage now, and there's a bunch of little break dancers from Ohio who do not deserve a million dollars. I promise that if you and your listeners vote for me, I will blow that money so irresponsibly the way it should be blown. I promise you I will burn through it before I die, hopefully a day or two before. Could we have you on the air the, before you do die? Yeah, oh, absolutely. I'm about to burn out here. Yeah, there's some of these kids here who want to win, and they're going to blow their money on, like, an education. <laughs> You're past that. You don't need that anymore, right? I'm well past that. I just need, I just need money for scotch. Scotch and cigars. <laughs> hey, Kevin, who are your influences in the comedy world? Mm, I'll tell you. Um, Rodney Dangerfield. Okay. And uh, I'm not going to lie, Howie Mandel definitely was. Wow. Um, I would say Rodney Dangerfield. Stephen Wright. Yeah. Yeah, guys like that one-liners. I do a lot. I I do mostly one-liners. That's how I started doing it because I was just so afraid of the silence. Like, oh, I better get to the next joke quick. Do a one-liner. Just <laughs> now, twenty four years later, I got tons of them. Now, Kevin, I was looking at your bio on your website, and is it true that you uh, had an encounter with Bozo at age six? You know what? I still get recognized from that appearance. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about scary clowns are scary. <laughs> clowns are creepy. Sounds very, like I avoid them now, but at the time, I mean, you know, second best thing to Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> I just flash I, back to that one in Poltergeist that comes after the kid, you yeah. know? Oh, yeah. That's the one that ruined clowns for everybody. <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean, don't get me wrong, clowns ru- were ruined, but that was just, when I saw that, I was like, all right, clowns are definitely creepy, I'm out. Hey, Kevin, I know that uh, you've got a chance to, to be on the stage, be in there at Radio City Music Hall. Uh, what about the judges? How much time have you spent with the judges? Um, I, I got within about 12 feet of Howard Stern once, and then the security guy said, excuse me, sir, would you mind stepping back? And I said, oh, oh no problem, and that was it. So you don't really get any interaction with the judges then whatsoever, other than being up on stage performing in front of them? Nah, just whatever they say to you on, on, on stage is, is uh, really the only thing, yeah. What about Heidi Klum? Um, you know, it's weird. I was looking into her uh, her window the other day. And the <laughs> then the security guard showed up and told you to get it right. <laughs> yeah, then, then that ruined that before I could put my little micro camera. Do they have, like, around them, like, the dome, like in that TV show where you just have that barrier and you can't get anywhere near them? You know what? It's a dome of, of humanity. Wow. And, uh, like, yeah, How, I, Howard Stern has the most... Um, but they all got them. Like if, if one of them gets up to go to the bathroom, there's at least one or two people going with them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, especially at these auditions, because there's just a bunch of whack jobs here. Right. Like what? Yeah. Like who like, else? Like, like break dancers from yeah. Ohio. <laughs> what other yeah. whack jobs have you run into? Oh, at the first audition? Jesus, there's some old lady wearing a bridal outfit and, like, huge old lady boobs popping out. <laughs> and I should say popping down. And she just told her, I'm Bridezilla, I'm Bridezilla. And that's the type of person they want to keep from someone like Howard Stern. So that's why these guys got security in case one of these whack jobs goes, you know what, if I cut off Heidi Klum's head, I'll be famous. <laughs> so that's why they've got security all over these guys. How many minutes do you get to perform uh, on tonight's show then? 90 seconds. 90 seconds, okay. Mm-hmm. So it's sh- kind of short and sweet. Yeah, 90 seconds, um, and then people can vote. And I tell you, 
If it were me, I'd vote for me. Oh, wait, it is me. <laughs> <laughs> now, are you the only comedian in the lineup tonight? Yes, I'm the only one. Uh, we're on tomorrow, 9 p.m., tomorrow. NBC, and I'm the only comedian on that show. There's a lot of variety, though. There's dancers and there's people that levitate. Um, there's people, I don't know, I think this one guy cuts off his head. I'm not sure what he does. <laughs> doing an old Alice Cooper bit or something. I don't know. Like, there's just a lot of variety in, in tomorrow night's show, absolutely. Now, comedians have fared well in this competition, so uh, you, were, I mean, you might have a chance here, right? I, yeah, Tom Cotter came in second place last year. Mm -hmm. And he lost to a bunch of dogs, which I'm tell you right now, I cannot lose to a bunch of juggling monkeys. So I'm relying, I'm relying on your listeners. All right. Again, uh, that's tomorrow night on NBC. America's Got Talent. Uh, Kevin uh, Downey Jr., originally from the Detroit area, will be on the show. NBC, uh, don't miss out. And as, as he said, vote for him. Anything else you want to add there, Kevin? Nope. I thank you for having me on. Uh, I'm very grateful to be on this show, and I'd be very happy if your your listeners voted for me and didn't let some. Uh, uh, I'll tell you right now, there's there's dancing poodles again. <laughs> Watch out for the poodles. Yeah, they're no joke. They won last year. Got to be careful. <laughs> All right, Kevin. Take care. All right, thanks, guys. Thanks All for right, having me. We'll talk bye to bye. You later. That is uh, Kevin Downey Jr., originally from the Detroit area, on America's Got Talent tomorrow night. Can't wait to, to see him perform. All right, we're going to take a quick little break here because Diana Stamper from Promote Michigan is here, along with Scott Winters, and Diana has beer and ice cream. And why are they going together? We're going to tell you all about that and more here on the Going Gonzo Show on News Talk 1340 WGRW.